Yesterday on the show, we started talking about pauses and that really short but fantastic quote is a West African proverb, silence is also speech. I've got another quote for you today. It's from Rhetorica ad Herenium. It's the oldest surviving Latin book on rhetoric. In other words, how to speak, how to get over your message when you're talking, how to deliver a speech. It dates from the late 80s BC. Yeah, BC. It's more than 2,000 years old. So using silence as part of speech as a way to persuade people, as a way to communicate, is almost literally as old as the hills. But that quote, pauses strengthen the voice. They also render thoughts more clear-cut by separating them. Obviously, it wasn't written in English. It's been translated. But that from before the birth of Christ. Broadcasters can fear silence. When I say broadcasters, podcasters, voice-over-voice voice artists, we want to have a wall of sound on air, music and talking, or music and talking. It causes some people to talk without actually saying anything. They feel as though they've just got to keep talking, keep verbalising something, verbal diarrhoea, if you like, just to keep that volume meter waggling on the studio desk. I can't possibly pause for a second. I've got to keep everything moving along. Silence doesn't mean nothing. Silence is an important communication tool, which can mean as much as something. Constructive silence can be confident and comfortable and create conversation. Destructive silence can be defensive and discourage discussion. Silences can be golden or leaden. They can give us space to breathe, literally, and for the audience, metaphorically, letting significance sink in. Pauses possibly produce powerful performances, from increasing tension to enhancing jokes. Pauses can be slow, boring pregnant or dead and that's what we're going to be looking at over the next few days as get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice continues from london i'm peter stewart <laughs>